Hi, brethren. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> Hope you're all doing well and having a restful weekend. And had a restful week. Um, we've been talking about the motherland, the new Jerusalem. Um, Israel called God their husbandmen in the Old Testament. Um, before... Jesus was revealed as God in the flesh, the beginning and the ending, the word of God that became flesh, Genesis to Revelation, praise his holy name, the Aleph and the Tav, as my brother says, uh, one brother of mine um, who I absolutely love, he always says, the Aleph and the Tav, Yeshua, Yahuwah, or Yahweh because he really is all those things. So <laughs> he's everything. So um, he is the house, the tabernacle of God, the, the temple of God that God's Holy Spirit dwells in. And we are part of him who believe, um, who believe that Jesus Christ is the Christ and the son of the living God. We are in that family, in that church, in that building. And, um, you're in my basket, by the way, if you're wondering where you're at. Like I said in the one video, it's like Moses was in the basket. He was bred for, um, he was put, sent in the basket, the word of God sent in the basket to uh, save uh, his people. Um, whenever there was a famine, um, he was sent ahead. He was sold into slavery and uh, I think about that, it was all for his family in the end, even though his family hated him and uh, his, his brothers sold him, you know, they were going to kill him. But praise God that that happened because he ended up saving that nation from, the, from a great famine. So just like that, if you're in the body of Christ, you're, you're uh, now bred for the world. Because he's the bread of life, but if you're in him, you've got living waters that come up out of the belly. And so um, the healing of the nations are, um, I believe, the works of God's saints, his children, God's children, uh, the ones who have the word. And so out of our belly flows rivers of living waters because we're in that house of God. We're in that temple, that tabernacle of God. And the tabernacle, the temple of God, um, one time was carried into Dag, uh, into uh, the Philistines, or they call them the Phil Philistia, uh, I think in the uh, um, Old Testament, carried into their, their temple, and God's tabernacle cut off the statue Dagon's head, which is the, the dragon. Dagon is the dragon. So the temple of God was carried into the enemy's camp and the enemy and the enemy was holding on to it because you know the tabernacle of God was power and would destroy um, the enemy and so they took the tabernacle but what happened was the tabernacle of God the temple of God uh, destroyed, cut off the head or the tail of Dagon, which represents the dragon. And so I thought about that and I was praying with God and talking with him. And he revealed to me that um, since we are the tabernacle, the temple of God, the family of God, the house of God, which God's spirit dwells in us. And the same way we cut off the head of the dragon and the tail of the dragon which is the falsehood spoken by the false prophet and the beast, the dragon, the dragon's tongue. So they don't have the Holy Spirit in them and they speak lies and hypocrisy and they speak deceits and they come from Satan's words, not God's words. Or they twist God, God's words like the serpent did in the garden with Adam and Eve. They, um, they, we're told, you know, did God say that if you eat of that tree, uh, you will die? <laughs> so the deceiving spirit, you know, twist, twisted God's words. Um, and so 
in the same way in the end times people are speaking a word oh jesus isn't isn't the savior the word of god you know it's just written by man or whatever they're saying and the the, the power of god's church the tabernacle of god the temple of god is going forth and just kind of like the messengers the angels of god would make when they spoke Woo, people were afraid. They were so afraid. In the same way, whenever true saints speak the word of God, um, the falsehoods of the dragon's tongue, you know, familiar spirits or speak, people speaking with a familiar spirit, they don't confess Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. They don't confess Jesus Christ is the Messiah. They actually reject and hate the Messiah. What happens is they're speaking from another spirit and it's not God's spirit. It says they don't. It says you know, uh, anyone who doesn't confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, this is not of God, but this is that spirit of Antichrist that God said would come. So if they don't confess Jesus has come in the flesh, they're speaking from another spirit. Uh oh. Anyways, so the falsehoods of the dragon are being spoken, but God's tabernacle, the temple of God, is here. Um, you know, Jesus Christ is in us. Christ, the hope of glory, heaven is in us. Heaven is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And according to the word of God, Jesus Christ is our righteousness. Jesus Christ is our peace. And Jesus Christ is our joy. So we have heaven in us, the Spirit, by the Spirit. And we praise God for that. Um, we praise Him and His holy, righteous name. i got to do my bell. Thank you. Um, so in the same way, the tabernacle, the temple of God, the mother, um, the mother land is speaking. The Holy Spirit is coming through them, but it's not by our power. It's not by, it says it's not by power, not by might, but by the Holy Spirit, God is speaking to these people or to the people who are listening to the dragon or the dragon's tongue cutting off the lies, cutting them out, destroying them in the land. And Israel, the new Jerusalem, the new, the new creatures that are in Christ, the new, the, the tabernacle of God, the, the um, new Jerusalem um, <laughs> is destroying the enemy because God has unveiled all sorts of hidden truths to us. He's given us hidden manna in the wilderness and sin in our in our flesh um, in the corruptible flesh he still comes through because the gates of hell would not prevail against the church of god and because um, it says no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment shall be condemned so we're not as saints of god we are not going to be put to shame and we will not be um, like the like they are um, uh, we won't be eaten up by them. Instead, it's the opposite. And the problem was that the, the enemy was trying to hold captive um, God's people in a way and twist the words so they didn't see their power. But God in all of his great glory, you know, we don't see him uh, physically right now, but we see him in the spirit doing the work because everything that happens in heaven then manifests on earth. So the saints that are going through, like, like the army of Israel going through, the trumpets are blowing, the people are speaking, they're going up against Babylon. Well, Babylon is already fallen because Jesus Christ already has victory. But when the word of God comes in, the word is powerful. The word is so powerful, it cuts through bone and marrow and discerns the hearts of men. It really does. And so we have the sword. Okay, so the righteousness, our breastplate is the righteousness of God, which is Jesus Christ. Our helmet of salvation is Yeshua, God saves, which is Jesus Christ. Our shield of faith is, is not our own faith. It's the faith of the Lord. And the, the loins gird about with the spirit of truth. It's his spirit truth and the feet are shod our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel that makes peace between god and man and so jesus is all of our armor and we just sit and wait for the deliverance of the lord and while we're doing that 
We're watching him through the saints destroy the lies of the enemy, brothers and sisters. Brethren, it's so exciting. You see that we are one body, one church, one spirit-filled uh, uh, people of God in the family of God, one tabernacle in Christ seated in heavenly places. But here we're speaking the word as ambassadors in order to, to bring about God's will. And we're doing it, you know, either agreeing with him or not. You know, the word is coming through no matter what we do because the gates of hell cannot prevail against the church of God. It's so awesome. There is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ. It's awesome. And we see the word of God coming with ten thousands of his saints. We, because he has a name written on his thigh and his name is the word of God. You know, the lamb, the, the, the lamb as it was slain in the book of Revelation says that, they, that the, the lamb that was slain as if it was slain takes the books from the one sitting on the throne. That's us, brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ is unveiling these hidden truths to us, his people, and um, he's giving us understanding. And with that understanding, we're able to um, speak the truth, the word of truth. And what happens when we speak the word of truth, um, our, our, um, it says in the scriptures that Jesus, in, in Revelation, that Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. So that prophecy, that those prophecies from the beginning of, of Genesis, where it talks about Jesus as the Aleph and the Tav, um, one brother is getting. Another prophecy of, you know, that Adam or Abraham, or no, Abel, excuse me, Abel um, offered the, the lamb to God and it was accepted of God. Where, where, whereas, and that's us like us, offering the, the lamb that was slain, Jesus Christ, for the remission of our sins. We offer that to God. We don't offer our own, our own work because it's a work of God, not of man, lest any man should boast. It's a free gift of grace and mercy. But he's coming in right now a powerful, powerful lion of the tribe of Judah with the word of God and his saints to execute judgment on all, on all and all the ungodly of all the ungodly deeds. We're, we're reasoning with the world saying, look, this is wicked what you've done. You know, Jesus says that in the word of God, it says that God remembers their sins at the end because they have not faith. In uh, one, one place it says, um, God deliver us from unreasonable and wicked men who have not faith. See, it's all about faith. We are the seed of Abraham. Abraham was saved by faith. Noah was a faithful, faithful um, believer of God, and he built the ark. Jesus Christ is our ark. It's so awesome, brothers and sisters. It's so awesome. And, and that fire is coming through now with full force. The word of God is coming through and burning up all of the enemy. The word of God is burning up the enemy and cutting off the heads of the dragon. And uh, we are binding serpents and snakes, and I mean serpents, scorpions, unclean spirits like frogs. We're binding the false words of the beast. We're binding them and saying, no, that's not true. Uh, this is true. Those who twist the word of God, it's being, it's, it's like I'm watching this in brothers and sisters and in, in, in the revelation that he's given me the understanding, opening the eyes of my understanding as it says in the scriptures. You know, and I could see how they tried to conceal the end um, in the wolves in sheep's clothing. Those who claim to be something. You know, our boasting is in the work of God through Christ Jesus, that he came in the flesh, he died on the cross, his blood is for the remission of the sins of the world. He poured out his own spirit for us. I think about it, he poured out, he poured out his life for us because he is the book of life. He lived a perfect and holy life. He's holy and righteous before us. And we who believe on him and those who went before us, who believe that he was coming, that the Messiah was coming, you know, it's awesome. <laughs> we are all in that same temple, that tabernacle of God. And in each time, there's people who reject the word of God, just like, you know, disobey or don't believe. And it's destructive to them, just like it says in the epistle of Jude, that, you know, those who don't believe are perish, perish or are destroyed. And um, so 
that's my signal to almost finish this one. But anyways, I just wanted to just um, praise the Lord for the work of the Holy Spirit because I can see it and it's wonderful. And the tabernacle of God is clearly visible um, spiritually um, and in people who are born again new creation part of the new creation and i just want to praise him for that and just um, give all the glory honor and um, dominion and power to the lord who already owns it <laughs> he already has victory so you guys have a great um, evening i'm going to go get that salad um, before my husband starves at home <laughs> and i hope you guys have a beautiful night bye-bye and make sure you ask everyone do you got agape <laughs> love you guys